Ray sees me chambering, he's already ready. That's it. When Ray sees me chambering, I'm already ready. So he doesn't react when I'm here. See, it's too late. Reaction cannot beat action. So what we're trying to do is to intersect his intention, not the attack. All right? So again, take a look, yes? When I'm trying to attack Ray, this is when he gets ready. All right? Because he, once he's ready, when I push my hand out now, he's stopping me, not in front of him, but he's reaching out for it. Does it make sense or not? So you do not want to stop something, uh, just do it wrong, close your face. Boom, yes? Same thing if I go like this, close your face. Boom, yes? Because if it's a knife, I'll go so as. That is, it's too close. Make sense or not? So you should always understand that, yes, you can cover like this, cover like as if this one, but when it comes to a blade, he cannot use that cover. Make sense or not? So you want to use the same defense for most attack. Not all attack, because it's impossible, no? If he does this, the shield defense and hit him like this, does that make sense? Yeah? <laughs> so again, keep in mind, anything which is coming towards you, towards you, towards you, like that, we try to use that. Try, meaning that if it works, it works. If it's not, then you have another one, yes, later. So when you guys are doing this, I'm doing this, boom. See how he's reaching out for it? And then he's not stopping it in front, where my weight is behind the blade. He wants to stop it. You know like when you do push-ups? When your head is in front of your shoulder, it's easier. But as it goes out, it's become a bit more challenging. Yes? So when you guys, this is what we're trying to do. Make it challenging for him. So if he's attacking me, and you're stopping him here, his weight is towards the shoulder, which will injure him. But once you try to stop him, when his weapon is in front of his shoulder, his body weight is already behind him. Does that make sense or not? Yes? Yes? So when I'm attacking Ray, yes, he's stopping me while my shoulder is outside. Boom, there. Not the wrong way. Okay. See how he's already in front and I broke his balance? Yes, with a simple tap. So now when I'm doing this, he's stopping me. There. That's why he's sweeping it, not blocking it. So now my turn, I shield. There. Boom. See how, how and when I'm when he's doing this, yes, the reference again, as he sweeps, his shoulder across my face, sector two. Shoulder across my face, sector two. Because if he doesn't have a knife, doesn't have a knife, and if that, that movement, I have my hand towards my neck, yes? I'm doing that. I have my hand towards my neck. Yeah? Boom, boom, there. Does it make sense or not? See, that reference is there. But in training, he'll take it here. Boom. It's just understanding the, uh, the distance. In reality, if Ray sees me coming towards him, yes? He will come in and hit me straight away. Boom, boom, straight away. Why would he waste time? But the movement is the same. Again, keep in mind, it's the principle of movement, correct structure, not a technique, yes? But in training, it's this. And see how he's very solid? Because you need to have a solid defense to have a solid attack. Have a solid attack. Make sense or not? Yes? So when you guys are doing this, same thing. You sweep your hand, that's why you chamber. Chamber it? No, no, I, I'm attacking chamber. See? He's chambering to attack. So if he's not attacking me with this, he's going to be uh, hitting me with this because he's already chambering. Make sense, huh? Yes? Yes? So if he just attack, uh, boom, boom. But we take this so that it's repetition of movement. Attack, boom, yes? But he could attack however he likes in real life. So for training purposes, he chambers, I chamber, boom. I chamber chambers, there, 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 there. Don't forget to flex your fingers. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. So make sure it's outside of your shoulder, not inside. Thank you so much.